How's it going everybody? David here with solarpowermyrv.com and today I just want to give you guys a quick tour of this solar system that we just installed on this 2022 Eagle Cap 1165 truck camper. Now, this is a huge truck camper. This thing got three slides on it and uh, yeah, it's, it's one of the biggest truck campers I've seen. So if you look on the roof here, we uh, we got 800 watts of solar up here, which is four of these 200 watt solar panels. Uh, we probably could even put more if you really wanted to. Uh, I'd say we can at least probably put at least a couple more, but uh, 800 is good. So he also has an alternator charger on this and he also has a generator backup. So he has a lot of ways to charge his batteries. This 800 watts of solar should recharge about 250 amp hours of battery capacity in a good sunny day. Now he also has a uh, separate controller for portable solar panels as well. So uh, this, he has a lot of ways to charge his batteries and I don't think he'll be uh, too worried about having a lack of power. So moving down to the bottom here, uh, we got all the slides out and I'll show you where the batteries and the inverter went. And this is uh, one of the portable panels uh, that we use. This is a 100 watt rich solar portable panel. These portable panels are great. They sometimes get more power than the roof panels. Now this is uh, the storage compartment back here and this is where we put the batteries and the inverter. So we got a 3000 watt inverter here. And then if you look back here, we got the two solar controllers, one for the roof and one for the ground array. And then we have three of these Battleborn Game Changer batteries. These are 270 amp hours each. So he has 810 amp hours here, total of battery capacity, which is a ridiculous amount for a truck camper, to be honest. And then we have a 70 amp charge controller here. This is for the, the roof solar array. And then we have another charge controller here. This is for portable array, if he wants to put portables out. And this is where we have the inverter, which is a multi plus two. This is a 3000 watt inverter. Um, and this powers everything in the RV, all of his outlets and everything. And then this is the Victron distribution center where you have your main cutoff switch for the system. So you can turn everything off uh, when you're in storage and don't come back to dead batteries. And then we have a battery monitor here. So you can look at your battery information when you're down here at the back. We also have a monitor on the inside, which I'll show you. So you actually are redundant. And this is also Bluetooth as well. So you can even see it, you know, from the outside here. And then in this bay here, we uh, also added an outlet because he wanted an outlet here so he can plug in his Starlink. And then we have our portable uh, uh, ports here for portable solar panels. We put two of them here. And then he has this Onan 2500 propane generator here from backup which is pretty cool now we also put an automatic generator start on this system so if the batteries get low or under certain conditions he wants to run it you know automatically just turn on start charging his batteries and you know you don't have to worry about it so i'm going to give you a quick tour as we walk in on the inside here to show you how big this one is this is a really cool camper so you got three slides on it and you got one slide here on the back and then you have your slide out controls right here in the front so you can access them easy and then you got a slide out here for the kitchen well dining room area i guess you would call it and then on this side you have another slide out for the fridge and the microwave and the stove so and then you have some storage cabinets there and then you have your tv and then you got um, you got some controls down here under the table here, like your lights and your water pump. And you can start your gin here. Um, and then you got a double sink, which is pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of space for a truck camper. And then you got a TV here. And what I'm impressed by the most is check out this bathroom for a truck camper. So you got a full size shower, toilet. You, you know, this is this is huge for a truck camper. I'm jealous. They got campers that don't even have uh, 
<laughs> this size bathroom. And then you got your step up here and then you got a little bedroom. You got a little space here for your clothes and then you got another TV in here. So it's pretty comfortable for a truck camper. So I'm gonna turn around here to give you a view from this side. And yeah, I definitely can uh, see myself off grid camping in this. So back to the solar system here. So this is where we installed the monitor system. So if you look here, the different uh, color boxes represents different parts of your system. Like the red part is your shore power. That's your inverter. This is going to be your AC loads, your DC loads, your solar power coming in. This is your battery information. And if you follow the dots, you can see kind of where all the power is going. So if you can see your solar's charging here. So it's a pretty cool deal. It's a nice visual uh, of what's going on with your system. I highly recommend these. You can also start your generator from here if we hook it up and you have an onboard generator. And you can also turn your inverter on and off from here. I'm gonna turn it on. And you can set your current limit for your shore power. So depending on where you're plugged in at, if you're at a 30 amp campground, you plug that into 30. And this is some other information here. So this is your main screen. But one of the cool features is the auto gen start that we put on here. This is an extra added feature with a, uh, it's a little more labor and an extra module that we have to tap into the generator with. But you can, what you can do is you can start your generator here and you can also program it to however you want to, if you ever want to start it under certain conditions, like if your battery gets low, um, you can start it under all kinds of different parameters. So if you look at our generator start stop here, you can turn on the auto start functionality. And you can go into settings here and you can, you know, have different settings. You can set quiet hours, have minimum run times, and you can also get it to start under certain conditions like for instance, the battery state of charge. So when the battery state of charge is lower than a certain percentage, it'll kick on. Or when it reaches a certain percentage, it'll kick off. Um, if you have, you know, if it's, you have current, you can you can set it to the different current. You can set it to low battery voltage. So if your batteries get low, it, it kicks on automatically. You can set it to AC loads. So like, for instance, if you want it to kick on whenever you use more than 2000 watts, it'll kick on. Like if you're running the air conditioner and you want it to kick on, that'll, that can do it there. You can also set it to periodically run under certain conditions and times. And if you want it to just run every so often so your generator doesn't get all gunked up. And you can also set it for if the inverter overloads or over temperatures, it, it'll kick on the gen as well. And you can set quiet hours here so it doesn't turn on during those hours. Uh, it'll keep track of you know the run times so this is a great thing to have if you have pets you know or, or if you're full-time living in it and you just don't want to have to think about your batteries dying uh, the auto gen start is the thing to have but you have to have an onboard generator fit to work so we're gonna go ahead and try the air conditioner out here just to show you uh, what it's all about so with these we usually put a soft start on the air conditioner which helps it start up with the inverter uh, without overloading it and if you can see here, I just kicked it on and the air conditioner is pulling about 970, about a thousand watts here. And then we got about 390 watts of solar coming in. Now, the cool thing is what you can do is look at the menu and you can look at this, the, the battery monitor and it'll tell you how much time you have left to go on battery power at this rate. So with the amount of batteries we have and the amount of solar, we have here, he can go 12 hours and 45, or about 12 hours and 40 minutes running the air conditioner on this system, which is uh, pretty cool. So yeah, there you go. This is uh, definitely a Cadillac system. Uh, it has all the extra features, all the automations to it. Um, the solar does its own thing. The alternator does its own thing. The generator does its own thing. The inverter does its own thing. The only thing you have to do is monitor it accordingly and uh, go out there and use it. So if you're ready to escape the crowded campgrounds and enjoy your camper the way it's supposed to be in nature, be sure to visit us at solopowermyrv.com 
and fill out the free quote form. That way we can give you a free estimate so you can get away from the campgrounds and into nature.